So I've made some videos about OGIS. This is really what we're talking about. When we talk about semen retention, it's not the physical, actual semen. If there is a way to, <laughs> and some people left, uh, you know, the clever minds, they're like, because I was talking about OGIS and I was saying, it's not about the semen, it's about the OGIS. So they're like, ah, can I still like beat off and do whatever I want to do, but, and lose the semen, but not lose the OGIS? No, <laughs> the OGIS is in the semen. It's the, it, you can't see it. It's like the energetic essence of the semen, okay? So you can't lose your semen without losing OGIS, but you can lose OGIS without losing your semen. You understand? This, this, this is why the, this video, what I'm saying, OGIS, is, is, OGIS retention is the highest. This is really what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about, you know? This is what anybody's talking about. Whether, whether or not they realize it, that's what they're talking about when they talk about semen retention. It's not about the physical semen. <clears throat> I had years, years I didn't lose any physical semen, but I was a maniac, edger, a professional edger, man. And I've shared, I'd go to these spots where there's a bunch of girls and generally in third world countries because I got more attention there and I would just edge like all day and night. <clears throat> I'd go to the massage parlor, do some things, wouldn't lose my semen, go to another one, do some things again. I was destroying my nervous system. So, but I said, well, I'm not losing semen. <laughs> I was losing OGIS. That's, that's, that, that's the point. What's the OGIS? I'm not gonna get so deep into the, I don't care about scientific explanations. Like I don't, I like to say things the way I feel because that's what matters. You can't just read a book and, and then recite it and think you understand something. You have to feel yourself what's going on. Like I said, OGIS is more like energy. It depends on what, <clears throat> what culture is talking about this. In Chinese, they may call it chi. In Ayurveda, in India, they call it prana. You know, whatever. It's, it's the essence, though. It's, it's what allows the physical body to function. If you didn't have the prana or the ojas or anything, like the body can't exist. That's, it's your life force. It's another word for it. So how then do we, I was gonna say, how do you retain your ojas? But let's first go over, because then you'll understand how to retain it. <laughs> let's talk about how you lose your ojas. Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> the biggest way you lose ojas, biggest ways, is through dopamine stimulation, excessive dopamine stimulation, because dopamine's a drug, but to, to, it's like to release that drug requires the burning of, of some ojas. The exception is, there's a lot of things to talk about, and I don't know, I can't cover all the angles in 10 minutes. If you're, do, if you're in nature, you're at the beach, you're having a high level conversation, there's gonna be a secretion of dopamine, but it's a higher grade, it's higher level. It doesn't burn OGIS when you do that. In fact, it increases OGIS. Now, the, thing, the ways you lose OGIS though, is if you're edging. Well, obviously PMO, porn, masturbation, orgasm, people still don't know what that means. That's what it means. PMO is porn, masturbation, orgasm. That's gonna burn your OGIS up. Let's say you don't, you don't beat off. You just look at girls. Just, you just look at them on the internet or you, you outside or <clears throat> wherever. But you don't release. You're getting the dopamine hit. You're looking at them. The eyes, the eyes, man. I think blind people have it better. If 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 they're dest if if they're hungry to wake up spiritually and they're blind, yeah, you they can they're gonna you know have a better deal. But when you're looking at something, just pay attention when you're doing it. Yeah, yeah, that's what you do. Don't ask me about it. You pay attention when you're doing it and, and recognize this hit of dopamine you're getting when you're looking at something that's activating you, okay? And, and recognize the grade of it, the frequency of it. It's like a, a restless uh, type of hit. Intruders are coming. I don't want them to hear me. Cause then they'll, they'll like sit there and like, whoa, what's he doing? <laughs> They're gone now. 
when, you, when you're doing low vibrational things, you're losing your ojas because of the dopamine hit. But pay attention when, I, when I'm talking about the dopamine hit. Pay attention to how that gets released. And pay attention to if it's a positive release, a nice balanced release of dopamine. Like, like again, like if you're in nature, you're having high vibra vibrational conversations, if you're you know, playing your instrument and you're chilling, if you're meditating, if you're doing yoga, whatever. Running, jogging, exercise, as long as you don't overdo it. You see, it's a good example. If you're doing balanced exercise or balanced running and you're not trying to like break records like I used to do when I would run, you feel good. It's like a nice endorphins, like you feel chill. If you overdo it, you notice how you feel? It's like a restless, like it aggravates the nervous system. And then you'll probably be more lustful afterwards. You see, you have to discern the difference between a healthy dopamine hit and a non-healthy dopamine hit. So that's one big way how you lose ojas through dopamine stimulation. Another way is through emotions, period. If you're super angry, that's burning up your ojas. It's like that fire, that anger, that it's, you can feel it, it wears you out. People can get wore out. Look at the little kids that cry and throw a tantrum. They do that for 10, 15 minutes and they just go to sleep. <laughs> They're wore out. Getting into fights and, and, and just, you know, you, you, you have to discern this for yourself. What's healthy, what's not healthy, when it comes to um, the secretion of feel-good chemicals. We're calling that uh, dopamine or, yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter the words. So, when you, that's how you lose ojas. Uh, also, eating, eating uh, heavy, hard to digest foods. You have to discern and see what, what that is for you. I'm not getting into the whole diet debate. You know, I made some videos. I said, I'd like to eat clean, clean, like easy to digest, mostly, I'd say 90%. I was ready, man. Bugs try to get my uh, my stuff. Or toads or something. Sand crabs. Um, I like to eat clean, unprocessed, easy to digest food. Because that then it's easy to digest. <laughs> our digestive energy, Ayurveda says, our body can use up to 35 to 40% of our life force just to digest food. Imagine the fire inside your digestive systems required to burn up the food that we eat and then convert that into life force. That's an alchemic process that takes energy. It takes ojas. So, that's why diet's important. Pay attention to what you eat and pay attention to how that feels when you eat it. Nobody can tell you. Like somebody, the, 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 somebody else will say, you know, I feel fine. I feel great eating meat. I did too back in the day. I did the whole paleo, I mean, uh, <laughs> I don't even remember, remember these labels anymore. The fat, fat diet, keto the keto I did Atkins I did you know and I, I felt really good for about six months and then it got too heavy for my nervous system now if you feel good doing that you you do it yeah I don't I don't get into it my, what I'm getting into is be aware and recognize how you feel that's all I'm saying if you feel good eating trees go ahead there was a guy a leper a leper the disease, leperism in India, and he ate tire rubber, burned the tire rubber off and eat it. He didn't even have any teeth. Yeah, some miracle people there. But yet his nails were always trim. <laughs> Me and the Indian friend, we couldn't figure that out. And then it's said that he died and they threw him into the Ganga River. And then a week later, he's back in his spot eating the tire rubber. See, we don't know, man. The universe is, is uh, magical. So that's another big way. That, so let's recap. Dopamine stimulation, heavy, heavy emotions, negative emotions, and your diet. Those, those three things, they burn up your, your life force or your ojas. So you be aware. That's why lifestyle habits are in conjunction with semen retention. And that's why I made the other channel, Transcending Shadows. 
and then you put all that together then i made the next the other channel the spiritual channel spiritual renaissance because when you're more balanced and you and you have a a, an, a, a lifestyle that's like clean automatically it's like your spiritual tendencies are going to start waking up so it's like oh what do we do with that oh here i got another channel <laughs> all right let me know how you like this video i'll see you